John Stamos says he was kicked out of Scientology. I was just effing around so much that they said, get out. John Stamos didn't live up to Scientology's standards. In an interview with celebrity impressionist Matt Friend on the podcast Friends in High Places, the Full House actor recalled a bizarre incident in which he got the boot from the controversial organization after one meeting. I was in an acting class and there was this hot girl, Stamos remembered. She said, you know, we're all meeting at this address on Hollywood Boulevard, come after class. I was working at my dad's restaurant at the time and I said, dad I gotta, I gotta go. So I went and it was the Scientology building. I was 16, 17. Stamos said that he was beckoned to the e-meter. You're holding these two cans, so I started, you know, hello. Peabody in the Wayback Machine, he said in a cartoonishly old-fashioned voice. You know, Sherman and Peabody, in reference to the time-traveling Rocky and Bullwinkle characters. The personnel at the Scientology Center were not pleased. They didn't like that, he said. I was just effing around so much that they said, get out. Get. Go. They just kinda kicked me out. Stamos previously discussed the incident in his 2023 memoir If You Would Have Told Me. In the memoir, Stamos recalled a woman named Mia handing him a book the size of a brick after acting class. I think it will open your eyes to some amazing things, he remembered her saying as she invited him to talk about the book the following day. Stamos looked at the book while working at his dad's restaurant. There's a lot about control, controlling your reactionary mind, controlling energy, controlling space, and controlling time, he wrote. Where's the part about acting? And who's this L. Ron guy who wrote a bunch of his opinions in here? The actor wrote that he eventually drove over to the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center International, which he described as grand, ornate, and creepy as f a cross between Chateau Marmont, Disney's haunted mansion, and a mental hospital. Stamos' memoir outlined that Mia welcomed him into the building and invited him to get a read on his thetans inside the building. She takes me into a weird little office where a weird little man shows me a weird little machine that has a bunch of knobs, levers, and gauges to measure my weird little soul. All I can think about is the Wayback Machine from the Rocky and Bullwinkle show deployed by the genius Beagle, Mr. Peabody, and his adopted human boy, Sherman, to time travel through different dimensions. Stamos wrote that the man in the room asked him about committing crimes, negative thoughts about Scientology, and strange sex inquiries. After some hushed whispers in the corner, Stamos remembered being whisked out of the room, never to return. Earlier in the Friends in High Places interview, Stamos discussed his obsession with one particular Scientologist who ignited his passion for show business. The big shot actor said that he was invited to visit the set of an unknown movie that was shooting at a gymnasium of a school where his father's friend worked. It was a dance, and I go what is this, he remembered. All these people came out that were supposed to be high schoolers, but they looked like as old as my dad and they were dressed up, he said. There was this 50s band playing, but they weren't hitting their instruments. I thought that was weird, but I could hear the music. That's when the star arrived. All of a sudden the director, like there was a voice from God, said action. These two doors kicked open and it was John Travolta. I was on the set of Grease, and I go, that. I want to be that. Stamos concluded, I wanted to be John Travolta. I still do, minus, you know, whatever that is. <laughs>